how y'all doing today? Figured uh, we'd get some more of this here Zelda and done. Zeldering. I'm already I'm already tired of myself and uh whoa whoa we haven't even done anything but yeah we just walked into a storm. Let's do some of the, let's just kind of knock some of this stuff out in this episode. I don't know what I said I was going to do in the last episode, but. You know, minds can change. So let's go to her and complete this. We got this stuff here to do too. Might knock that out in this episode because controller just resynced itself. These aren't too far from where the, this is, so I might go ahead and knock those out while I'm up here. But yeah, before we. Do before I do any more story stuff, I want to knock out some shrines. We're at 50, so we're not even to the halfway mark on those. I feel like I've been kind of neglecting them. I mean, I try to do at least one per episode unless we're doing a, a divine beast or something of, of, of big importance. But yeah, let's go ahead... And start knocking some of this stuff out. I also need to start getting the memories. Because that's part of what I'm considering 100% for this playthrough. The shrines, the memories. Where is, is it you? No, it's, it's you over here. You're like off to yourself. Yeah, there you are. So, did you meet the hero of Hyrule? I am he! What? So it was you. The sword is proof enough. I'm so happy right now. This is a little something I've been saving for you. Please take it. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. It feels so good to check that off the bucket list. But now that I've met you, some of the excitement's gone. I mean, you're not even my type. Sorry, buddy. Well, toodaloo! Okay. You're not my type either, but... Okay. Okay. Forever alone. Alright, let's head toward these yellow and green marks. Uh, let's see. This way. Let us go this way. Ooh, yes, up there. Let us look up here and see what is there. Do I got a Revali? I got three Revalis, and I'm using one of them right now. So I am not in a climb everything in the world mood today. <laughs> I just recorded parts one and two of Super Mario Galaxy. Part of the brand new, um, of course, it's not going to be brand new by the time this goes up. Um, I'm having trouble here, and it's raining. It's raining. And with that, I need to fix, uh, what can I equip? Uh, oh no, I can keep that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the brand new um, schedule that I've got for the channel. Try not to overload you guys with too much content. I feel like I was, you know, putting out five or six videos a week there for a while, and maybe it have been was a bit bit much. Oh, we got here some ruins. Coliseum. Oh yeah, I got to the top of this. This has got a Lionel in it. I don't know if I've showed this off or not. There's all kinds of enemies here too. And one of them... I'm pretty sure... Has something I want. But I can't see crap. Because... 
rain. So I'm kind of just going to skedaddle past this. I can't remember if I've showed, if I've fought the Lionel in here or not. It's just a, I don't think I have, but it's just, you know, it's just a blue one. I'm not really too worried about fighting him, if even if I haven't. But yeah, there's always a Lionel in there. He'll, you know, they'll respawn, of course, with each Blood Moon. I think at some point a different Lionel shows up in there, though. And it's one we haven't seen, and I don't like how close that lightning's getting. Uh, get some ruins here. I'll sniff around for a second. I don't remember if I've been here or not. Yeah, this lightning is... Very scary. Yeah, this is looking like... Places I've been. But we'll just keep heading along here. What, uh, horses over there. Ow. Um, got some deer here. And I'm just going to let him be. I could have totally have either killed or rode that thing just now. Yes, you can ride them. Oh, I see a Korok boy. Just along the way here. Alright, cool. Already back up to ten of those. After spending the whole kit and caboodle. Um, boy, this might be in the general vicinity of... I'm going to put a star here. I think this is the general vicinity of a, of a memory. And I'll come back here after we get a couple of these shrines knocked out. And we'll look for it. We'll get it. I like how these horses just have all of the chill. It's like big lightning strike happens. They just stand around, but heaven forbid a dude just run along and they just, yep, they, they, they GTFO. Uh, this screams Korok. Yeah. I speak Zelda. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I don't speak climbing. Don't know how many episodes of this I'm going to record. Uh, at the time of recording this, I got like quite a few episodes in the in the in the in the tank, and I really didn't need to record, but I just wanted to. I was in the mood. In the mood. Oh, oh. Do we have have we we've not been to this one? Okay, and then there's the other thing that I saw earlier. So we have a new stable. Well, let's do the shrine first, and then we'll, I'll hit the stable up. Goody. Things to do. Wago Kata. I love these names. So we got metal connections. Oh, this one's... Kind of a pain, but it's also not hard. It's just kind of annoying. First off, uh, please don't be a weapon... Thank God. Alright, so we want to get over there now. And then over there. Is that the only chest in here? That is the only chest. <coughs> and hiccups. I didn't want to do that. <coughs> Activate. Let's slowly... Let's slowly... Move along, trying not to knock them over. Trying not. Get a 
up here. Is this gonna be close enough? Okay, well, we got you, you see what we're doing. I don't think I need to. Okay, a little bit closer. Um, you want to get out of the way, buddy? Old pal, old buddy, buddy, old buddy, old buddy, old pal. Uh, careful. Please don't tip. Now I don't trust it. I swear I keep hitting the A to activate, and it's just not. Okay. Uh, that might do it. I think, I think we're golden. Oh, we might not be. Hey, we just got it. All right, so we have built our little bridge, a little erector set here. Good stuff. Like I said, it's easy. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to move that around without knocking it over. And if you knock it over, you got to put it back together. Three already? Sheesh. Do, 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 you typically, typically in my other playthroughs, I've done... Yeah, there's fishies in there. I actually didn't know that that, pond, that water had fish in it. Okay, what do you say? Ah, yeah. oh, customer, are you traveling alone? This inn gets full of full marks for beauty, so I highly recommend taking a rest here. The river, the river here makes for some lovely scenery, and if you head northeast from here, you'll find the Millennio Sandbar. The scenery there is every bit as lovely as the scenery here. I'm something of a connoisseur of beauty, you see. I simply cannot resist a beautiful sight. I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own beautiful appearance. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you you have the most beautiful features? Everyone wants to bang Link. Oh, I do have many fond memories of the beautiful land, and if you have the time, would you indulge me? Oh, you would. Even more beautiful on the inside. Now, let's see. If you head north through Hyrule Field, you'll see the castle surrounded by that foul aura. It has long been a den of monsters, but its days, its glory days, it was surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in that very castle in those very days that my ancestor, hmm, my grandfather's grandfather, I believe, Anyway, he worked as the castle's appointed chef. I couldn't believe it myself. Oh, how I wonder what sorts of cuisine members of the royal court enjoyed in these good old days. As a child, I would often suffer meagre meals, all while dreaming of the beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate, palate. Oh, if this mu if this oh, if only things have been different. Gourmet spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding. Oh my, I think I'm salivating. And it's my pursuit of those childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see here. Bro, you built like me. These days I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty with any traveler willing to listen. But I still wonder what could have been. Anyways, excuse me, I seem to have caught myself prattling on. But looking upon your perfectly symmetrical face and discussing meals of beauty has rekindled my desire. If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it in your find it in you to keep an eye out for a cookbook? There must be one lying around somewhere in there. I'm simply dying to finally sample the food of the royal court. Uh, royal recipe. So what's this one? Tracy here. Dream rumors. Royal guard. Oh, the royal. Oh, yeah. 
So this is another costume, and it's in the castle. What's up, Beetle? Wow. Yep. We'll definitely take that deliciousness. Now what are you selling? Well, here's the this is the beetle that sells the electric darner um yeah I'll take these so that I'm pretty sure with getting that yeah we have at least one of all three we can do that now all right let's make it daytime all right this boy is out here now um, there's Mr. Painter. Actually, let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. And let's get our clue. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's close to where we were. That's Lake Colomo. It's an oddly shaped lake west of here. There's a forest on the west side of it. Okay, Lake Colomo. So let's take a look. Yeah, it was pretty close. I think it's like in maybe over here in this area. So, I will head there soon. We've got this girl here. Have you gone to the giant castle north of here? That's Hyrule Castle. It's said to have fallen to ruin over a hundred years ago. I used to sneak in there to salvage ancient treasures, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. These days it's surrounded by an eerie mist and savage machine-like creatures. Back when it was safer, I went in looking for this ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. It's legendary among collectors, but I was never able to find any. Well, we've gotten some. Can you show me that big sword you've got there? Oh my. <clears throat> That's an awesome looking sword. This is incredible. Thank you, you have shown me something truly spectacular. I need to go out and find one of these myself. Here's a token of my appreciation. Oh, yes! Well, thank you, Parsi. $300 just for having a sword in our inventory. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, let's head over to that shrine. And then we'll look for that memory. You can already see the shrine from here. Not far. Oh, wait a minute. Is this that shrine? Wait a minute. Who are you? I don't remember there being... Are you a Yiga? We haven't seen one in a while. Excuse me, young traveler, but I may be so bold you look quite troubled. Perhaps a glimpse into what your future holds would bring comfort to your spirit. This is... May I tell you... That is, may I tell you your fortune. Ah, oh, very good. Now let me see. I see red, a crimson, deep and rich. It's the most beautiful color I've ever seen. Oh, it's the color of your blood. That face? Come on, dude. Oh, come on. You ain't doing crap with that face. Um, let's just go ahead and finish this off. Alright, hold on. Come on now. Yeah, see, it's been a while since I've fought one, so now I'm rusty again. Take this stuff. Alright, back to over there. Okay, we got something going on over here at this bridge. Is this that shrine? I think it might be that shrine. I think it is, actually. Yeah, we got trouble here. Well, not really, but...
Uh, another one of these people. Always needing help. Uh, we got Octorok. Get up. Ugh, my aching head. Why did I think it was a good idea to take this road? I was watching the river flow by. Is that such a crime? Seeing the water stream so peacefully makes it hard to believe the Great Calamity really happened. Then monsters attack out of nowhere, and I think, alright, time to head back to the stables. Ugh, whatever. There ain't Lika. Weirdo. Can you not... Any of these fish new? No, uh, they're just Hyrule bass. Um, I'm not even gonna bother. Cause I'm going over here. It's some malice over there. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, I'm surprised I actually haven't done this shrine yet. For some reason I skipped this area. This is usually like one of the first areas that you come to. Oh, those were, I thought those were snails. They were birds. Anyways. Some Hyrule bass out here too. We got this lady. And we're at the Floret Sandbar. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see how the shrine would look with flowers around it, and it's wonderful. Please feel free to take a closer look, but just don't step on them. So this is Flower Blight Ganon, the most powerful boss in the entire game. You can't kill it. You can only hope that you don't anger it. Yeah, don't step on these flowers. And if you do it too many times, she'll, like, kick your ass. I'm not joking. She will mess you up. And you can do nothing about it. Which is f pretty funny, actually. But yeah, if you see, like, weapons and stuff in the flowers, don't bother. It's, um, it's a red herring. It's, like, I mean, you could probably use your runes to get it out of there, but I would just leave it. Be careful right here at the entrance. Because Flower Blight Ganon decided to put, like, a flower in a crappy spot. And you kind of got to... To make that easier, you probably could have just used Revali's Gale to just jump over in there, but yeah. <laughs> okay, drifting. Oh, this one's pretty simple. It's more early game stuff I've skipped. But basically, we get to use Cryonis. Wait a minute. There wasn't a chest or anything back here, was there? I'm always paranoid about that. I, didn't th I don't think there was. There is one here, though. Link, you want to get up on there, buddy? Buddy, old pal. Old buddy. Alright, I've done that once already this episode. Alright. I think this is, like, opal... Or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's like anything great here to get. Be careful, explodey barrels. Don't want to die. Anything good here? I doubt it. Well, that's not too bad. I think there's... Is this it for chests in here? Yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, that's the... That's the shrine, everybody. Like, I don't feel like Nintendo tried too hard with that one. That one was just... That was a little too easy, to be honest. I guess getting in here was kind of the, the challenge, though. 
there's four. Anyways, okay, so that's another shrine down. All right, I want to go back. I want to go back in time. Let's warp here. And then we'll run over and try to get this memory and then probably call it an episode. And try to keep these episodes a little shorter going on out. Now that we're kind of up there in the shrines, we're 52 in. Getting close to that midway mark. Um, I no longer feel the need to have like 45 minute episodes. I really don't think we need to continue to do that. Um, let me... Kind of just give myself a marker here. Wait, I'm not going off into the wrong direction. So yeah, we're gonna oh, we got another one of these situations. Oh, it's these two again. Well, they uh, they tend to give nice stuff. Tough wheat bread. I don't know if I've ever gotten that item in this game before. What about you? You want to give me anything? No. It's fine. Tough. I don't. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. That's that's a little new for me. Tough wheat bread. I like wheat bread. Go for a a nice sub from. Uh, oh, what's that place called? Uh, that I go to. Uh, Jersey Mike's. Ugh, my brain just doesn't want to work. Um, this is odd that this is all by itself. Alright, so, yeah, we're back over... We're pretty much here, so... Sniff around and get this... Oh, great. You again... Come on. Come on. Come get it. Oh, I just kind of want to have them out of the way before we start. Oh, that's pretty in the background. Yeah, you better run. Jerks. So it's kind of in this area. I better equip something just in case. Um, let me look at the picture. It's. Oh, we haven't got that one down there. It's this one. I think I just found it. Yep. There it be. Here we'll make our way to Goron City. Then we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts so much we don't know, but if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? 
Ooh, calling me out. All right. Sassy Zelda being sassy again. All right, so we got us another memory. We did two shrines. Got a couple Korok buddies. I think that's good enough for today. I really do. I feel like we got a lot done here. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna I'm gonna pick another one of these um, these side quests, and we'll work from there. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're liking the shorter episodes.